I'd like to tell you people a little more about myself, but rather than just doing that, I'd like to talk about an issue while I do this. Although Varmint Coyote already expressed certain thoughts on this matter that echo mine, I wanted to give my own take on it, being that I feel similarly yet have certain differences. I wanted to offer my perspective while letting you into my brain just a little bit. When it comes to my physical sex, I am male. Now, as for my own mental perception, my own mental thoughts of myself, that doesn't work for me. Based on society and based on my own thoughts, I see myself as female. And yes, I know, I'm a man. This is not about my physical gender at this point. It's about my mental perception. And it's about society's roles and what they say about the genders. And more than roles, it's about how society expects the genders to act and feel and think based on the popular perceptions and culture that I see. When I see the masculine archetype as it is presented to me, the rugged, manly man who is a man-man, right? With as many mans as you can put in this sentence. <laughs> no matter when it stops making sense, it's got to be manly man-man time. At least that's the popular perception I see, and it's changed some since I was a younger child, but this core idea still remains, and I've never felt comfortable with it in my entire life, that manly, masculine archetype. For me, I've been a more, while logical, I've been a more empathetic person. I've been someone who has been emotionally attached to other people quickly. I care quickly, much to my own chagrin at times. <laughs> But I am someone who is vain. I would like to see myself as beautiful. I admit this freely. Yes, and a feminine form to me is more aesthetically pleasing. So there are many angles to this. To go to the old stereotype, women do the cooking. I love cooking. It, it's a passion of mine. I enjoy the hell out of some cooking. Uh, cleaning? Yeah, yeah, get me cleaning. It, I'll be cleaning for hours. The, the womanly, quote-unquote, jobs, those are the ones I like, at least in the house. So sue me. I don't care. This is what I like. Oh, that's the feminine archetype? Okay. I'll take the badge. Because, quite honestly, men have this archetypical image of being the ones to shun pain and emotion and to be the stoic and... To a degree, I, I do these things, you know, but really, I feel most comfortable being open with my emotions and expressing them and giving a friend a hug, which apparently is gay. That's, that's what some people will say. I want to give my guy friend a hug. Oh, that's, that's homosexual. No, no, I, I, no, <laughs> this doesn't make sense, but okay, so guys aren't allowed to express their positive emotions that way. Um... No thanks. I will turn in that badge and switch. Fine. And along with handing in that badge, I hand in that man card business. That bullshit, I have a man card because I'm a manly man. I don't want it. I don't need it. Have it back. I don't remember signing anything to get it anyway. What it comes down to, all of my sarcasm pushed away here for a moment. In this case, this is about me and what I'm comfortable with. Society has no right to tell me I have to be a certain way to fit in with my physical sex, that I have to have a mental construction, that I must wear this persona because I have a penis. This is not logical to me and I want no part of it, and I will act as I think I should. If I feel more feminine and I want to dance around and whatever, then I'm going to. And for people out there who hear this and think, well, I feel this way, maybe you're a woman who feels more manly, or another guy who feels more womanly, to put it in quite simple terms, then you're not alone, and furthermore, do it. Go with it. That's who you are. No one should tell you to be anyone else but the person you are. Don't lie for people, for their comforts, for their precious little preconceptions of the world. Shatter them. Shatter them with your individuality because you are who you are. And no one else is going to step up to that plate if you don't. You're the only you. That's not something to think about. That's something to do.